local Melbourne scientists have developed a revolutionary new blood test set to save lives by predicting the risk of heart attacks and strokes. And I'm pleased to say the head of metabolomics laboratory at the Baker Institute, Professor Peter Mirkel, joins me now. Professor, this sounds remarkable. How does it actually work? So the, the technology that we're using, Shari, is a process called lipidomics. And so what that allows us to do is take the same blood sample that you would normally give for a cholesterol test or that type of thing, but we measure about 250 different lipid species within that, that single blood sample. And then we use an AI-based algorithm to combine all the information from those different lipid species into a risk score that's then better able to predict cardiovascular risk. And is it accurate? Have you been able to determine whether it can, in fact, accurately predict whether someone is likely to have a heart attack or a stroke? Yeah, look, so the, the way that this will work is we won't be replacing the existing tests. So there's already a heart health check and the, the Heart Foundation has just released an Oz CVD risk score. We'll be utilising that. But what we'll be doing is the current tests classify people as either low, intermediate or high risk. And those people that are intermediate, so neither low nor high, that presents a, a clinical challenge. And so what we'll be doing is retesting those intermediate risk people and then reclassifying a portion of those which contain most of the, the individuals who go on to have a cardiovascular event into that high risk group. And so, of course, then they can be effectively treated. Mm. And so how will this work? How soon will it be available to people? Is it something that anyone could go to their doctor, their GP to get this blood test? No, so look, what we've done is we've developed the test, we've validated the test in, in large population cohorts, but we now need to do a clinical trial with this test. So this is going to take about two years and we'll be starting this next year. So once that's done, at the same time, we'll be developing the clinical platform so that we'll be ready to roll this out to the public, probably about the end of 26. And so if someone is in that intermediary range and they are told that they could actually be at high risk of a heart attack, what steps would they then need to take to lower that risk? And is it something they'd then have a repeat test, say, once a year? So typically, if you're classified as high risk, then you'd, you'd go on a statin therapy, so to lower your cholesterol. Uh, you'd go on a... a, a blood pressure medication if your blood pressure was high. They're the two mainline uh, treatments for cardiovascular risk. But of course, there are other, other types of blood uh, cholesterol lowering medication that are uh, used in some instances. Yeah. The, well, the idea is that, yes, you would have a repeat test and, and that might be yearly or every second mm, year. Mm, look, it sounds amazing. And look, good luck with the clinical trial. And thank you very much for explaining it all to us tonight. Thank you, Professor.